welcome to the stream. Today we're gonna to be playing as Socialist Italy, the one country. This is actually our second country we ever played in Kaiserreich. After Canada, all the way back, I think in 2017, we played as Socialist Italy. That was a long time ago. It was back when they were actually in the south, if anybody remembers that. But it's been a long, long time since we tried them out. So, you know, let, let's just see. Let's see how it goes. Let's assign ourselves a commander, assign ourselves a general here. Probably just put them right on the front line with the with two Sicilies. We'll see how the um, Italian Republic here kind of goes, but right now I think two Sicilies is going to be our main threat. They're going to be ones we want to maybe kill first. So let's see, what is our starting position? Right now we are basic syndicalists. We will be having an election sometime soon. I'm not too sure uh, which path we're going to go for exactly. Um, but right now, we are 24 factories, we are 10, 3, 11, so actually pretty, pretty militarized, uh, than you would expect. So, you know, I'm gonna build one civilian factory right now in Tehran, should be okay there. Our basic technology, we will go for our production, construction speed, and research speed. Get that all going. No national focus. Well, so what do we have? We can go for assess the economy first. Or the military trees. Probably go for the economy first. Get that one going now. We make 75 episodes. I'm, just, I'm hoping it's not going to be a 75 episode series. Uh, but I guess we'll see. To get our army and navy experience, turn us off. We'll turn you guys off for now as well. So what do we need to actually attack our neighbors? We need reinforce the pole line. Actually, there's two different ones if we want to go north or south. We need to either reinforce the south, reinforce the coast, or reinforce the pole line. That begins here. In order for us to do that, we need military buildup and one of you two. Okay. And military buildup is you. Okay. So usually you want to get that done. We'll probably get it done by... I would like to say early 38. If we can get uh, two Sicilies killed and the Italian Republic killed before the second Guild Creek Axe begins, we're going to be in a much better position. So that's what we're hoping for. Uh, apparently, we're making old ships. Just make one of you and then we'll uh, switch that over. Making rifles, artillery, sport equipment, in war fighters, in war bombers, and some trucks. All of that seems reasonable. We're not going to replace you yet. Our cap right now is at 26. You're used as the Gatorson template. Your basic 18 combat with nothing too special there. I mean, we could... Well, right now, let's just build up, let's say, five of you for the time being. I think that seems okay. No template for total artillery support equipment. Well, we'll definitely fix that in the future. And we're mostly just going to trade with the French. Seems reasonable. We probably won't get rubber... You know what? Let's get one rubber. It does mean our civilian factories are not going to be fantastic, but it'll be okay. Did I wrote today? Wrote today wrong. Excellent. Um. So in 1919, the Italians signed armistice with the Austrians, ending the war for the Kingdom of Italy. War with the brave soldiers and nationalists in Italy rose up against the destructive Saviors, determined to replace their system with something better. Even uh, King Victor Emmanuel and his sons' abdication was not enough to stop the will of the people, and civil war broke out across Italy. Even as we pushed the royalists out of northern Italy, uh, however, there were traitors within our own ranks. The whites in the Republican uprising, unwilling to accept the inevitability of the revolution, broke with our amendment and soon sold themselves out completely to the Austrians. With our enemy all united against us, and our advance were halted at the Po and the Abruzzo line, the war was over. Since the ceasefire of 1923, congresses have come and gone, and revolutionary fervor has spread across every corner of northern Italy. Much has been done to uplift the Italian peasantry from the pre uh, previous conditions, but much still remains to do. By the way, I'm just curious. Is my... We have a new overlay stuff I, I set up today. I just want to make sure it's actually working properly. Hey, okay, that's at least working. I think the other stuff's not working, but we'll worry about that in the future. Okay, Uniting Italy. Italian nationals have already begun the call for a second re... Resorgimento? I, look, I don't speak Italian. To unify Italy once more. Spreading the revolution will not be a simple matter, however. 
The Mitzvah exists in an uneasy balance. Germany and Austria are wary of any form of alliance with the ESRI and the Third International. They know an alliance is inevitable, but any attempt on our part to bring uh, to bring the French and British in the war to unite Italy under Syndicalist rule would draw intervention and start a new Wildkrieg. The Republic of Italy to the east is protected by Austria, but under a similar pro prohibition against starting a war against us. So long as the prospect of German-Austrian interference uh, remains, we must be aware of any war to unite. Italy can only be done with limited third international support. We have not made a move yet, but we cannot sit idly by for much longer. Italy must be united. But what do we get from you? Excess economy, we either get communal syndicalism or create the IRI. I mean, military focus would be nice. Focus on construction, industrial, expanded railway. Hello, Nate. I mean, at 10%, 10% cheaper infantry equipment, that's pretty good, right? So probably create the IRI. What do you need? You just need to create the IRI. I'm assuming that's going to be an event based on you. Militarized economy. Well, actually, you only need 5% construction, 20% factory production efficiency growth. No, I still think we want military focus. We'll go IRI, military industrial focus. Education here. Research slots, okay. We can only do you after Italy's been united. So that's going to be a little ways off. Mosley wants to talk to Mussolini. Also, Mosley, the Union of Britain, has invited the chairman of the National Syndicalist, Benito Mussolini, to Birmingham to discuss the common ground between their ideologies. And the total is charter. So what is the option? Because we go straight to the chairman, that requires us to go totalist. Stability, more stability, decent war support, research slot, political power, training time. Honestly, you're not that great. What national focus did we have? We have organization, planning speed is pretty bad, and we are a divided nation. If we go to strengthen Republic, we can get capitalist 10%, more factory output, stability, worker priest. I'm like, I'm looking at it. I think the strength in Republic is just kind of like a better tree for sure. So whether or not we go syndicalist or radical socialist, which I'm pretty sure the Rad Sox are the Christian socialist. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure like, um, oh, what's it called? Revolutionary theocracy. Are we going Mussolini? I don't think so. We're, we're probably just going to go Rad Sock or... You know what? We can, we can have a poll. Quick poll. Slash poll. We love Twitch democracy here on the channel. We go Rad Sock. Dindy. Totalist. Uh, we'll have a two minute time to run that poll. Okay, Black Monday. Electro Gridlock in France. It looks like I think France is saying Syndicalist, Britain, we don't know really exactly what they're doing yet. And Black Monday has now affected the world. Eh, doesn't really affect us too much. And you're just, we're actually importing now too much steel. Oh, and, wait, Russia's going to go Socialist as well. Because again, they're having the Civil War. The Socialist Russia essentially cannot lose. Assessing the economy. The economy of the country has been suffering in recent years. While great progress has been made since the civil war that tore Italy apart, we must consider ways to improve the economy. Two main proposals have been put forward to the Congress. The first, favored by the Partido Socialist Italiano, would focus on decentralizing our economy uh, by empowering the various communes throughout the country. The second plan put forth by the Union Nacional Nacionalista is near the exact opposite. It instead uh, would favor creating an organization called the IRI, the Institute for Industrial Reconstruction that would organize and guide the syndicates and unions in order to bring prosperity to Italy and the people. Well, the IRI is just better for us. Everybody's going to be clearing war on the, uh, the socialist here, but again, they basically cannot lose. They've got some pretty decent, uh, they got good buffs. The whites have terrible debuffs. Okay, so we'll create the IRI. Hey, wait, do we want to create the IRI first? I mean, you're pretty good. Renewing the guard. And I don't know. Do we want to go for... 15% organization is pretty good. But what are you... Right now, you're negative... Right now, you're negative 
10%. So it's actually basically a plus 5% off default. Planning speed. Recruited population factor. I mean, you're probably just better for us. Okay, we got most votes for Cindy. To go send Eclisus route. Hello, uh, Northsider boy. Land Doctrine. Yeah, I'll probably go Red Guards as well. So, you know, let's assess the army because we do need military buildup eventually. And you don't actually need anything from the economy tree. And again, we kind of do want to begin the, re the Riz Orgumento uh, as quickly as we possibly can. Because getting it done before the second Vild Krieg is just good. Jabal Shamir. Uh. Are you sad about Jabal Shamir? What's wrong with, what's, what's wrong with Jabal Shamir? I mean, at some point we do have to play as them as well. I don't know how long that'll be though. We could import more oil as well. We 2.8. You know what? I will. I'll import. I was gonna say I'm gonna import one. One unit of oil. But then we I don't think we'd have any factories. Right now we only have three. Which is pretty bad. But you know what, Britain? I will trade one oil with you. Just so we can at least, uh, once we, once he kept out here, we'll, we'll stop it. So, about half a year, our oil reserves will be filled up. Which is gonna be great news for us. Okay, people are declaring war on everybody else. It looks like, uh, Ruthenia has gone national, uh, who won the poll? It was, uh, the Syndicalist. The Syndicalist won the poll. So we'll be going down strength of the Republic. And does it matter? We probably do. We, I'm, I'm guessing. Do we want urban or do we want rural? I think we want urban. I think I think urban, especially like the, if you're going cyniclist, I think the cyniclist would be more likely to the urban development compared to um, the Rad Sox. So it looks like we're going for a completely cyniclist international. Nothing too crazy here. Yeah, Afghanistan has been pieced out. That's completely fine. We Mexico right now is Radsock. I'm not, I don't remember exactly when the event for Zapata's assassination is, and we might already be past it. Reviewing the guards. The Red Guards, or Guardia Rosa, uh, has been the backbone for the Social uh, Republic of Italy's army since the war. Organized as local militias, they have major support among the local communes in that field and equipped them. However, some nationalists uh, seeking to reunify Italy plans have been put forth to perform the Red Guards into Red Army. However, such a plan is controversial for many members of the Red Guards that are highly suspicious of the central military apparatus, despite the benefits that it will bring. Uh, we will... What do we get? Oh, no, not... No, no, not half a year of penalty. Jamar, it's my tribe. Are you from Arabia? Beer, fire, pal. What do we actually want here? You know what? Entrenchment in Italy is pretty good. We'll take, we'll actually go with them uh, this time. Break the IRI. And for you, we need one of these two. I mean, it's actually not that. We just need to rush here, rush here. And when is April 1st? Okay, actually, this could be happening in like a day. Actually, if it's going to be happening, let me just save up a few points here. Okay, Third International. The death of Filippo Toretti. Today is a great statement. Filippo Toretti has passed away at the age of 79. Filippo Toretti was one of the last surviving founders of the Italian Socialist Party. His strong and constant support for the rights of the workers of Italy from his earliest days has made him famous throughout the Republic. In addition to founding the Socialist Party of Italy, he was also one of the principal architects of the Constitution of the Social Republic of Italy. The funeral in Torino has attended by visitors from nations all around the world and officials from across the political spectrum, all paying their respects to the late great leader as various labor songs were sung, including Edano di Lavatorie, which he penned himself. I'm assuming... No, it's not you. You're a different dude. Okay, well... Take the political power. Apparently, Gramsci is the head of government. I didn't even know that. Let's 
now begin the fourth congress we will deploy our units just in genoa for now seems fine we'll go two rows on all of you okay fans break out of sean delicates arrived and what do we want panzer experts well let's go offensive with you well you're two three do we have anybody that's better two three i prefer three two honestly You know, let's go with you. I think you'll be better for what I want to do here. Okay, so those are just the generic third international events, which we've seen many, many times. We don't need to worry about that. Go for another level of research. And also, I guess we should be drawing out an invasion of Planet 2 Sicilies here. I mean, Amphibious, what do you do for us? Marine Supply Grace. Shore Bombardment Bonus. You know what? Camouflage Expert's pretty good. Never mind, we don't have enough command power. Great joke. Okay, the CSA. Radicalism in Latin America. Women's rules. Let's... Okay. Let's get some support. We'll, let, we'll allow women to be part of the revolution. And the fourth Congress of the SRI. The fourth Congress of Social Republic of Italy begins. The various factions of the Congress will debate economic, internal, and military policies. The Union and Syndicate class size seeks to push Orthodox syndicalism at, uh, advancing the current policies of the Congress. While the Party Social Italiano desires a government which supports a more moderate approach to bring a socialism to the country. Meanwhile, Benito Mussolini's new faction, the Union Nationalista, Nationalista <laughs> advances a new uh, ideology of Gar Garibaldismo, advocating for absolute state power and aggressive military expansion. Let's get to work. Okay, now that that's on its way, and all of my butchering of basically anything I say. Okay, we got some white terror. That's not our concern. It looks like Alash Orda and Finland did not get themselves involved in the rest of the war, which they usually end up doing, because I know Alash Orda has... Thank you. I know it is perfect Italian. Because don't... I thought you had claims here, but maybe not. Yeah, don't don't ask me to speak any language but English, and even then, don't ask me to speak English. It's 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 a train wreck, no matter what. Coup in Beijing, failed coup in Beijing. Okay, economic policy. So we have expanded agriculture, industrialization. Okay, so we'll focus on industrialization. I'm guessing it's just. I mean, right now we have 52% party popularity. Like we're pretty pretty popular here. Internal policy. Let's power the unions. Because again, we are going syndicalist. Religious policy. The atheism, common ground with the church. Most more secularism. And you go away on the 21st of September. Like, why even give you this penalty? Like, this does not make a big deal one way or the other. Okay. So we have reached majority. So who do we have? I think you're just the same dude, right? We can either keep the current government. Or we can go with the Ambrus. So Gramsci stays no matter what. Luis Longo. Political power versus... Political power. I mean, you're slightly... We want you a little bit more than that. Do you have any bonuses as a character? No. Economy is construction, research, factory output. Resource gain. You're 5% stability on Minister of the Interior and resistance growth. You know what? We're going to go uh, the Ambrus. I think he'll be slightly better here. We've got a new leader of the SRI. And right now we have 62% party popularity. Seems pretty good. With 151 political power, we will go up to early mobilization. Ignore you. Ignore the manpower issues for right now. So do you think it makes sense for us to attack the north or attack the south first? I mean, the south... Because we attack one, we gotta attack the Pope and two Sicilies at the same time, because they are a puppet. South first? That's what I'm thinking. 
But we'll see. Like, if the Italian Republic ends up... They have an election in November. If they end up collapsing... That is true. There's, there's that stinky river. But if the Italian Republic ends up collapsing and they have, like, this little war between, um... Like, Venice and... Legion or Italy, which can happen. It would it'd be pretty good if we can, uh... Pretty good if we can exploit that, but... We'll see. Throw pizza at them? You know, not a bad idea. Research... Which one do we want to go first? Land Doctrine... And how long does this take? Let's say four... I mean, let's strengthen the Republic first. Actually, okay, that completes automatically. And from this... Has complete focus, cement Chairman's power. Well, we, we actually we have to finish all of this and rush our way down to military buildup. So that's 42. Let's see how many days it is. 40, 80, 120, 160, 200, 240, 280, 320, 360, 400, 440. So that's, that's like two years of focuses. So let's start with, we're, we're going to start with this, for, this focus first. Just because the military stuff does not matter as much. I mean, we still want it, obviously, because military stuff's cool. However, if you're not at war, most of the time it doesn't really matter so, so much. You know, it's like, oh, you get 10% more organization. Like, that's great. But, you know, if you're at peace, it doesn't make any difference. Let's also deploy our interwar bombers. But you had 100 for right now. I'm assuming we'll have a pretty decent air force. I don't know about... You have zero planes. You have 29 to 62. So, two Sicilies does... 